Protesters in Nashville are calling for action against racism and their demands take aim at a controversial statue. News Channel 5 Sarah McCarthy is live at the Capitol and Sarah, people want to see a bust of Nathan Bedford Forrest removed. Yeah, Vicki, that bust sits just outside the Senate chambers and has been there since the 1970s. Now, Forrest is, of course, one of the most polarizing figures in the Civil War and a leader of the KKK. But protesters here today say this is about more than the pieces of the past that we choose to honor. This is how we represent who matters now. White supremacy is not just those who march with torches but it's those who operate in these chambers. The People's House is a place for all. Love is stronger than your hate. But these people know some symbols say otherwise. We can't allow this kind of hate and these kind of symbols to continue. Nathan Bedford Forrest is a piece of Tennessee's past, but what he stood for is a reminder of racism and hate. We're here today to say tear it down. Yeah. yeah. Tear it down. Tear it down. Protesters say their demands to remove Forrest's likeness are not about the left or right. We ask our lawmakers, stand with us. This is about right We're and wrong. On our lawmakers, we shall not be moved. And so while dozens took a stand outside of Governor Haslam's office, many also chose a side. I've seen the Ku Klux Klan when I was a child march in the streets here. I hated it as a little girl. It scared me and it scares me now. But I want to say something to all the races. You have united a lion. Yeah. We are coming for you in love and we will not back down. A fight that's just beginning. We need you to contact all of your colleagues across the state to help us when we come back in January to make the legislation go through to remove the bus from the Capitol. All right. Yeah. All right. A chance to make this house one that represents all people. The part of history that we choose to talk about, that we choose to valorize, mm. means something. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we have to be better than that. Now, Governor Haslam released a statement today reinforcing his opinion that Forrest should not be honored at the state capitol. He is also encouraging lawmakers to work toward legislation that would permanently remove that statue. Reporting live in Nashville, Sarah McCarthy, <coughs> News Channel 5. Thanks, Sarah. Hey, groups aren't just in other areas of the country. They can be found right here in our backyard. According to the Southern Poverty Law Center, there are 38 hate group chapters across the state. In Middle Tennessee alone, there are hate groups ranging from white nationalist groups like the KKK to neo-Nazi groups, anti-Muslim groups, and black separatist groups. We've got a link to the website on newschannel5.com.